Hi guys, today I made this Cheats KFC, which is Korean fried chicken in this case, and it was so sweet, sticky, spicy, and crunchy. I call it Cheats KFC because it's actually not fried at all. I did it in the oven, so there's no boiling oil to worry about, and I have a trick to guarantee a really crispy coating. So start off with a kilo of chicken pieces with the skin on. Here I'm using drumsticks, but you can use wings or thighs as well, and set them aside while you get on with your spice mix. This started with two teaspoons of sea salt flakes, one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and weirdly two tablespoons of baking powder. Two tablespoons is the same as six teaspoons. Then just mix it all up. You can actually use whatever flavorings or spices you'd like, but just make sure that for this amount of chicken, you use two tablespoons of baking powder. There's something that happens with the baking powder and the skin of the chicken that when it bakes, it just forms a really, really crispy coating and it's so, so nice. Really, really like it's been fried. I would go easy on the chilli heat here though, because we're going to make a really spicy sauce to coat the chicken once it's cooked. Start by adding half the spice mix to the chicken pieces and toss them all up so that there's a nice thin layer of spice on the chicken before you add the rest of the spice mix and shake it up and toss it so that there's a generous coating on the chicken. Now transfer the chicken pieces to a baking tray lined with a rack. You want to use a rack here because you want the heat to circulate around the whole chicken, really helping it to crispen up. Now sprinkle over any of that remaining spice mix and then transfer to a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius and bake for about an hour. Though every 20 minutes you will have to take them out and turn them so that they will cook evenly and crispen up on all sides. The sauce takes no time at all, just take a few cloves of garlic and mince them up as fine as you can. I'm using six cloves here because they're really small but four normal size would be perfect. Then add a few tablespoons of vegetable oil to a hot pan, though here I'm actually using olive oil, and let that heat up before you add one small handful of raw unsalted peanuts and your minced garlic. And stir them about in the heat for just a minute or two, but don't let the garlic get a colour at all. And if you're making this for anyone with a nut allergy, no worries, just leave them out. So after about two minutes, add about two tablespoons of soy sauce. Mix it all up before you add four or maybe five tablespoons of tomato ketchup. Of course I'm eyeballing this because quantities don't actually matter a huge amount for this sauce. All these quantities are just a vague suggestion. Now go in with about the same amount of runny honey. Next is the secret ingredient. It's one big blob or about three tablespoons of Korean red hot chili paste and mix that all up. This stuff is so incredible. It gives really, really heat, but also a beautiful savouriness too from the fermented soybean and brown rice. In English, it's called gochujang, but if you're in an Asian supermarket and they don't have it with English writing, it generally comes in these red tubs. So after a few minutes of stirring over a medium low heat, all those ingredients should now be incorporated. So add one tablespoon of cider vinegar. Mix that in as well, then clamp the lid on and take it off the heat and let it sit there until your chicken is ready. Once your chicken pieces have had an hour in the oven, take them out and they should be looking really nice and crunchy and smelling delicious. They should also be sounding really crunchy. That's what you want to hear. That crispy skin will really help the sauce cling to it. Now have a look at your sauce. If it's been resting for too long, it might be a bit too thick and jammy. A bit like this, so add about a tablespoon of cold water and mix that in until it's loosened slightly. Now, over a very low heat, go ahead and toss in your chicken pieces and mix them all about in the sauce until they've all got a really nice coating of that sweet, sticky, spicy, delicious Korean sauce. If you like, you can scatter a tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds over them. That's what I should have done. It's what I wanted to do. But when I had made them, I realized I didn't have any sesame seeds in the house. So no garnish. Thanks many for watching, guys. I hope you really liked this video. 
And if you did, hit the like button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Track me down on social media. I'll put all the links to my accounts in the description below, as well as the link to my blog where you find the full recipe at www.rookiecook.org.